Hello viewers, welcome to my lesson on animals. I'll take you through control of livestock parasites. In the past, you have discussed about the different types of parasites, the internal, the external, we've looked at the images, and also we've looked at the parts, the attack, and also we've gone ahead and looked at the effects. So for today, we're looking at how a farmer can control uh, these livestock parasites. If you remember the effects, irritation, uh, poor production, you know, anemia, all those are negative effects. So a farmer has to find a way of controlling such livestock parasites. You look at four main ways of controlling them. One being rotational grazing. Mm -hmm. We have dipping. We have spraying and finally deworming i explain each one of them in details the first one is rotational grazing in class six we discussed a lot about rotational grazing i looked at paddocking a strip grazing tethering as methods of rotational grazing so they play a very major role in controlling both internal and external parasites so how does this happen when animals are moved from one paddock to another? Some parasites such as ticks and tapeworms may die due to starvation. You find that these, these parasites are found on the grass, especially ticks. So if it's a paddock, an, a, a piece of land divided into like 10 paddocks, by the time uh, if the ticks were in maybe paddock 1, by the time the animals come back, they got, I mean they go to paddock 2, 3, by the time they come back to paddock 1, the ticks that were on paddock one will have already died in tapeworms due to starvation or rather lack of food. Again, their cycle, breeding cycles are broken. Investigate on how this, uh, the breeding cycles of uh, ticks and tapeworms as homework and uh, find out how they, they are broken due to rotational grazing. The next uh, way is by dipping. You realize that dipping controls external parasites only. Which are these external parasites? They include ticks, they include mites, and fleas. We looked at them earlier on. And in dipping, we use chemicals called acaricides. In other words, acaricides are chemicals that are used to control livestock parasites. So the chemicals are in a structure called a cattle dip. I'll take you through how a cattle dip looks like. And what happens is that in the dip, the chemicals are mixed with, there's usually water in the in the cattle dip. And then when you mix that water with chemicals, the acaricides, you form something we call a dip wash or a plunge, in other words. So the animals, if you want for effectiveness, you can be dipping your animals at least once a week. So this is how a cattle dip looks like. At the beginning, this is a structure of a cattle dip. At the beginning, we have a footpath where uh, it's the entrance where the animals get in. Uh, as you can see, I'll be comparing the two diagrams. So the animals get inside through the entrance. Uh, there's a sloping ramp somewhere here. So after they, they are on the last slope, they automatically fall into the water or in the dipping tank that contains the deep wash. Remember, a deep wash is the mixture of the chemicals and the deep water. So, once the animal gets in, water will be like it, the, the water will wash away all the parasites that were on its body, on its body, and then by the time it comes out at the end of the uh, deep uh, dipping tank, all the parasites are uh, off the body. So it goes out through the sloping ramp and exits through here that's why we refer to it as an exit as a clean animal free from external parasites so this is how a, a, a simple in simple how a cattle dip uh, looks like the next one is spraying again just like dipping spraying controls external parasites only and spraying is done in a special structure called a crush you realize that when you start spraying animals, they might be tempted to move away or run away from the, uh, uh, from the chemicals. Therefore, it's good for a 
a farmer to contain them in a special structure we call a crash. So in a crash, movement of the animals is restricted. The chemicals used just like we talked about uh, in dipping are called acaricides. And the spraying is done effectively using a, a spray pump. This is how a crash looks like. As you can see, it is meant to contain the movement of animals. When the animal is here, it cannot move from one place to another. It will just remain there as long as the farmer is spraying. Then we normally use this uh, spraying gun. The chemicals are found inside this uh, container here. This is what we call a spraying gun or a spray pump. And lastly, uh, viewers, we have deworming as the last method of controlling. This method controls internal parasites only. Different from the others we've been talking about. It involves administering chemicals uh, to animals orally. The word orally means through the mouth. Deworming is done through two main ways. That is dosing and drenching. Dosing and drenching. Sorry. And what is drenching? Drenching simply means giving liquid medicine to the animals using a drenching gun. In human beings, you know, you talk of a syrup. The medicine is form of a is in form of a syrup, and it is given using a drenching gun. I'll show you what it looks like. And we have the main, the other main way is dosing. We have dress, drenching and dosing. Dosing, on the other hand, is giving solid medicine. It, that is medicine in form of tablets using a dosing gun or a bolus gun. I'll show you what it looks like. What you need to put in mind is that drenching is giving of liquid medicine while dosing is giving of solid medicine in form of tablets. This is in form of a syrup. So how does a drenching gun and a dosing gun look like? This is how a bolus, uh, a bolus gun or a dosing gun looks like. So a farmer will fix a tablet at this uh, knob here and then pull the trigger. Of course, uh, the, the, the tablet uh, goes directly into the mouth of the animal. And remember, the animal is restricted maybe in a crash. And maybe some uh, they need the help of another person to help open up the mouth of the animal so that the tablet goes straight into the mouth and again we have a drenching gun a liquid medicine is put inside this container and the farmer pumps inside as the medicine the liquid medicine leaves through this uh, pump into this uh, gun that when you pull the trigger the liquid medicine uh, gets into the mouth of the animal uh, Comfortably. So, uh, these two uh, tools are used in administering uh, medicine to the animals orally, and we refer to them as deworming devices. So, with that, uh, I want to put some points across that you realize that these methods, some will control internal, others external. What have we learned? Rotational grazing controls both internal and external parasites. DP controls only external parasites. Spraying also controls only external parasites. Deworming controls internal, internal parasites only. So with that, I come to the end of my lesson. Thank you for watching my lesson and uh, remember to like my video and uh, subscribe for more. Goodbye.